That's it, baby. You're out. Mm, I don't wanna be out. Come on. Okay, okay. Let me find something I can lean you guys against. That works. Today I decided to feed into both of my biggest addictions. So I'm not sure about this t-shirt. Like, it's my pyjama, but... <sighs> I'm not sure, you know? Are you judging me for it? I feel like you are. Wait a second. Is this better? <sighs> Maybe yes, but I like really don't feel like it, so forget it. <laughs> Way better! Okay, so today I'm going to feed into my two biggest addictions. Actually, actually it's kind of three. First one, wearing pyjamas. I feel like at this point you might be able to call it a problem. And I'm not trying to solve them. It. You know, I just wanted it to rhyme really bad. Anyways, other problems I don't want to fix. My chocolate eating habits. Although my face really wants me to fix it. And last but not least, watching TV shows. Oh god. I, I, I love, love watching, watching shows. shows. I'm really addicted. I feel like out of all of my addictions, this might be the one that actually screws me over the most. Because I just spent hours and hours and hours watching something fine when you're not really anyways now that i said all of the reasons why watching tv shows isn't so good for me let me enlighten you and tell you which ones you should get hooked on <laughs> is she okay <laughs> okay mm. this is like really weird and awkward anyways while we're doing that we're also doing chocolate i feel like i kind of didn't explain that enough i'm so professional i actually got a list no don't look at it Wait for me to tell you. Fuck. You think this is okay? I don't think so. Ow. Okay, okay I'm, I'm so, so lost. lost. The first TV show I want to recommend to you, because if you click off this video, I feel like I have done you a huge favor if I just recommend this one TV show to you. The TV show is called Hollywood. To be fair, I already, you know, just by the name would like it, so I'm kind of biased here, but I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. I know everyone right now is kind of obsessed with like throwback series, I guess, you know? It's another TV show that is like in the past. I'm stupid. Anyways, it's so good. I promise you. Oh, I it's in my top five TV shows of all time. Oh, I hurt myself with chocolate. Like, what are the chances? The kind of injuries I have are just embarrassing. Like it shows maybe how Hollywood could have been transformed, I guess. If like minorities would have gotten some space sooner. Anyways, that is also one of the few shows which don't take place in a high school, which kind of is my favorite setting. I love high school TV shows. I really do. Mm. Okay, I'm just heating up my chocolate now. Now the second TV show I want to talk about, that's kind of like a famous one. I feel like everyone knows this one. Sex Education. It's really good. I love it. It talks like about some serious stuff, but it's also very lighthearted. Am I the only one whose this hair is like completely annoying them? I really love lighthearted TV shows. First of all, I'm absolutely terrified of horror or suspense or thrillers like I will not sleep. I'm so fucking scared of anything. So all I really watch is kind of really family friendly content, you know? Then obviously one of the best TV shows ever, La Casa de Papel or something like that. I'm sorry, my Spanish is not. Also known as Money East. It's so good. I actually started watching it before it was on Netflix. If that makes me cooler, you know, that's just you saying it. But if you think it, you know, not gonna judge you for it. <laughs> I just sorted out all of the hazelnuts from my nut mixture because that makes my chocolate kind of taste like Nutella in my mind. Anyways, La Casa de Papel is like so well written. It keeps you hooked the entire time. Like, oh my god, I remember watching it. I could not stop. Also, Rio and Nairobi, they are my absolute favorites. You can't tell me otherwise. Another TV show. Let me just check on my nuts real quick. My chocolate is melting. Another TV show is like Outer Banks. I mean, you have probably heard of it. If you haven't, like, you've definitely not been on TikTok for the past months. It's kind of scary, not gonna lie. It scares me sometimes. There are snakes in it. It's not just fun and games. Oh my god, my hair is... So, while we're waiting for my nuts to roast and chocolate to melt, let me tell you about The Politician. One of the most recent TV shows I watched, I don't think it's 
as popular, but I feel like it's getting more popular now. I just really like to see the house. <laughs> the house of the main character is amazing. <laughs> I wish. Oh my god. Well, the first season is about a high school election where basically it's like strategies, it's like politics, but it's like lighthearted because. You know, they're all kids. Has some kind of more darker humor. The next one, number six, is on my block. I really like the TV show, but I hated the end. I think they have three seasons now. I'm so pissed at the end. <laughs> I hate goodbyes. goodbyes. I, I hate, hate endings. endings. Oh, it's kind of a funny, but not like a predictable. I don't know. It's kind of It has kind of its own humor, which I really appreciate. I also recently watched Self Made. This is like really different from the other stuff that I'm talking about because... First of all, it's a documentary, it's based on a real person. Basically, it's about the first black female millionaire. So it's about her life and how she created her fucking empire. I really admire her, she's like, chuk, chuk. she knows what she wants, she's gonna go after it, she stands by what she says. Oh, I love her. I'm gonna put some coffee in my chocolate because I don't know for what reason. Putting a tiny bit of coffee in your chocolate just makes it taste like better quality. Another show that I am kind of obsessed with is Pose. Pose is about, oh my god, it's also in the past. Like all of the TV shows right now are in the past. Like, everyone wants to do that. So it's about the transgender community. It's really real. It's not scary in terms of like suspense, but it's kind of like, I guess, hard to watch because a lot of these characters go through some real shit. I just love watching perspectives on TV that I myself wouldn't get. I feel like that's the thing that I love the most about the show is just seeing a world that's so different from mine. Time to my time. Not recommending this. Another thing I love about Pose is that the characters are very real. Then, a completely different show, I guess. Big Mouth. I just really love it. It's just really funny. And it takes place in a high school, so you know I'm gonna watch. Yeah, I'm really that basic. A really, really lighthearted, you know, the kind of TV show that gives you like that homey feeling. I don't know if you get what I mean with like homey feeling. It's like comfortable. And it's just so heartwarming, I guess. Anyways, it's about an autistic boy. Although he's like in high school, it's more about his family. It's just really comfy. <laughs> Please think of another word. It just makes me feel... Elite is another TV show. It's also Spanish. Basically, it's about a private school and the students that go there and someone dies or disappears and we never know who it is and we just see everyone in their like normal and luxurious lives that's like your typical high school drama plus you see a lot of pretty dresses fancy parties and beautiful houses so like why would you not tune in you know also i was meant to watch blood and water which according to youtube comments it's just like a south african version of elite then another super famous show i feel like if you haven't watched it like it's stranger things stranger things is you know set in the past there's like the supernatural world about a group of young friends trying to get one of the friends back who is trapped in this like underground world. I mean, you've seen it. Why am I explaining it to you? It kind of scares me sometimes. Anyways, if you're into like really scary shit, people talk greatly about dark, so you do you. I'm not gonna join. But I wanted to break the nuts up. I wanted to break the nuts up before I mix them into the chocolate, but I forgot about it. So I'm doing it now. It's gonna be messy. Number 13 on my list. Dear white people, I love that TV show. It's, it takes place at like an elite college. It's about a group of black students. One of them has like a radio show called Dear White People. It's like a great drama of young adults, but also being educational. I feel like more and more TV shows are being educational or like positioning themselves socially, which is something I love. It's a really, really cool show. And I feel like it's not given the credit it deserves. Look at this. But I feel like it was worth it. Anyways, these were 13 plus TV shows that I recommend to watch. So while our chocolate hardens, I don't know, we cry, I guess, or start watching one of these shows. I'm so desperate for a new show. I feel like Netflix isn't keeping up with my watching habits. So if you have any other amazing show that I need to watch, please tell me. Just nothing scary, okay? Thank you. It's gonna be real.
Okay, we're good. It's gonna be great, I can already tell. That's all I wanted to say. Okay. Bye. Oh, oh, oh.